A brush fire in Bedford County kept firefighters busy most of the afternoon. It happened on Business Route 220, just a few miles past the Bedford Omni Springs Resort. Melanie Gillespie was there talking to firefighters about the challenges they face today and neighbors near its direct path. Mel? Marty, by the time we got there, I was mostly seeing smoke seeping out of the woods, but there were a few houses right below where the woods were burning. Kind of used to this, but when it strikes this close to home, it's pretty scary. Stephanie and Trenton Johnson live only feet away from where a brush fire was burning in Bedford County Tuesday afternoon. Johnson say the smoke and ashes had them worried their house could be next. I didn't think anything of it, and then when I got up to put the bottle in the sink, I looked out and it was worse. It was all filled with smoke down through here and stuff when I got here and stuff, and I was just concerned to how close it was getting towards our property and stuff. Firefighters say it took several hours to get it contained, but it burned fast, sweeping across more than eight acres of woods right off of Business Route 220, just a few miles past Bedford Omni Springs Resort. The wind's what really keeps us on edge because yeah. you just don't know where it's going to go. Here there's a gentleman that's tearing the house down, uh, and it appears that that may be our source where it started. Deputy Fire Chief Gary Cooper says that man tearing it down was burning debris not today, but the past two days, and believes the hot coals stirred up, sparking the fire. Uh, with the way the wind's blowing, and I'm not sure exactly how fast it is or hard, but it, it's blowing pretty hard right now. Five fire departments helped dig, saw, and put out hot spots. Firefighters say even though it's only March, today's conditions were a perfect recipe for a brush fire. I would just hope that people would uh, use common sense whenever it's a day like today when the wind's really blowing that don't burn. Please don't burn. Luckily, no homes were threatened or damaged, but because it consumed such a big piece of wooded land, DCNR was also there today helping. Firefighters wrapped up just after 6 o'clock tonight. Reporting live, Melanie Gillespie, 6 News.